on day seven of my juice fast. It's going really well. Um, everybody keeps asking me, um, am I hungry? Am I constantly on the toilet? <laughs> you know, how do I feel? Um, so I haven't done a video diary uh, since like my first day. To tell you the truth, I've been having a lot of problems with um, making videos and uploading them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one works. Um, so yeah, I've done now seven days. Um, this, I've learned so much uh, during this time as well. I've been doing a lot of research and I've been drawn to more videos and, and knowing about other people as well. Uh, initially, I started doing this um, and I learned about this uh, back in October 2011. Um, I started going to a chiropractor uh, in Coquitlam, BC and he's vegan and raw and he had just finished a 100 day juice fast and to look at him you wouldn't think that he ever had any issues like he's so he's so like slim and healthy looking and vibrant and yeah he, before the juice fast i think that he was you know he was feeling in a rut and he didn't feel um like in the time of his life that he should have been so he did 100 days and I don't really know too much about his experience because I actually started uh, going to uh, to see him like right at the end of his juice fast but I know that he's uploaded videos so if you are interested he's called the raw food doctor and his name is Dr. Ali Amiri and uh, yeah he's uh, he's done a fantastic job and uh, I think right now he's doing another 10 day juice fast. Um, but yeah, I started doing this um, initially just after I watched um, the movie Sick, Fat and Nearly Dead with Joe Cross. It's about, um, it's kind of like, the best way to describe it is it's kind of like Super Size Me but in reverse. So it's a documentary about this guy who starts off over 300 pounds, um, he's Australian. He's like the C, like CEO of a, a huge business, and um, really successful guy. Um, but he's just feeling so down, and you know he's so overweight, and he's got this skin disease that he, you know, pains him, and there's nothing that he can do about it. He's on like something crazy, like ten medications a day for it, and you know he his mission to get well in 60 days so he goes on um, a road trip across America and uh, just fasting like juice fasting for 60 days and, and along his, the way he he meets um, various different people and, and talks to them about it and kind of what they think about it and uh, yeah it's a really really interesting movie and along the way he meets this guy um, called Phil who is over 400 pounds and he's a truck driver and he actually has the exact same um, skin condition as Joe and I think Joe had only had said that he'd only met like a couple of other people in his life that had the exact same oh no sorry he met a couple of people in his life that had similar issues but nothing of the exact same um, kind of disease so even though Joe had finished his side of the documentary, it still carried on uh, following through Phil's life. And I won't tell you too much now, just in case you do want to see it, but it is like an absolutely fantastic movie. Um, I would see it again, definitely. And uh, Phil, you know, he really, yeah, he did a, an awesome, awesome job. Um, and then after that, I saw uh, a movie called Food Matters which that really goes into depth of um, like the food industry, uh, kind of more like the, the money making side of things and, and what big corporations don't really want you to know about the food industry, agriculture, um, like uh, the medical um, side of things too with, uh, with drugs. Uh, it's, um, it really opens up your eyes to the kind of world that that we live in. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Um, just for myself. Like, I, I wanted to, to do a detox. Um, and not that I smoke or drink or I don't do drugs, but 
you know, just being in, um, like in this environment with um, pollution, and I live in one of the most beautiful uh, countries in the world, and you know, it's so green, and it's just really isn't. It's just really is an incredible place to live. But you know, it's still not. You know, it's still not far away from all the troubles. Um, you know, in this world, like what with Japan and and the radiation and, and all of the pollution that goes on. So I thought that it was time that I needed to to kind of lift off some emotional baggage too and, and really uh, try and work things out and, and, and detox, you know. So yeah, I've done seven days. I set myself a 10 day goal, but I think that, I think I'll carry on. Um, I did, <laughs> I did actually cheat. Uh, on Sunday, I went with uh, my boyfriend and, and two friends of mine to Organic Lives. It's a raw vegan organic restaurant in Vancouver, BC. And if you're gonna cheat, that's probably the best like way to do it um, by eating healthy, raw, organic, vegan food. So I didn't cheat majorly and eat like a piece of chocolate cake or anything like that. But um, yeah, no, I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't feel bad about it because I know that it was good for me anyway. Um, but I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep going on just as normal. And um, I'm going to do more than the 10 days anyway. I don't know if I'll ever do like 100 days um, like Dr. Amiri, but we'll see. I'll just take it day by day. Um, but yeah, one of the things that people ask me is, you know, are you hungry? Um, do you feel sick? Are you, you know, um, are you constantly on the toilet? And actually, no, like none of those things. Um, if anything, I would expect to be on the on the toilet, but um, no, I'm not. I'm just just normal. Um, but you know, one thing that I am starting to notice now is um, underlying issues that I know I have. Like I knew I was starting to get a problem with my knees. Um, my mom, she suffers with her knees quite badly and even though she's young, she's already had knee surgery. And I guess over the, maybe the past year, year and a half, um, if I was to bend down, I would, my knees, like getting up again would go in such a crack and they'd be painful um, as well. And I wouldn't really have to do anything for them to, to act up the way that they do. but. I, I, yeah, it's weird because now I'm now I'm starting to actually detox. That's one of the things that I'm starting to feel like I'm detoxing with. Like I haven't had any headaches yet, um, which you'd expect with detoxing. But my knees today are absolutely killing me. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like a, a loosening up. It's really hard to, to say, but you know, people are, are all different, and uh, I know that with the six fat and nearly dead video, you know, people drinking the green juices, especially, um, they would be like tripping to the toilet like 30 minutes afterwards. But you know, not not with me. So, but no, my knees, I I think is what's going through it right now. Um, also, my skin as well. Uh, my kidney liver is uh, that's they're detoxing right now, and I'm I am breaking out, um, but that's you know that's okay. I know that I expected that anyway. Um, I do tend to have issues with my skin, so you know it's nothing new. And but if it's you know eventually going to get better, then I I'll be absolutely thrilled, and I know that it will. So it's just you know I just have to go through the motions and. You, know, you don't expect to do something, you know, you don't expect to detox your whole body just like overnight kind of thing. You know, it takes time and uh, I'm willing to work through it. Um, I'm just actually really enjoying life right now. Um, within this past week, there's a lot of things that uh, have happened, you know. Um, I don't really want to go into too much detail <laughs> right now, but uh, this week I was offered a new job. And I'm, I'm thrilled, I really, really am, because it is something that I have, you know, I went to school to, to do art and, and design and, and then went to do fashion. 
and since moving to Canada, I've had to start from the bottom again and, and kind of work my way up. And now I just feel like I'm really, you know, I'm really flying here now, even though I haven't been back to school. Um, that was always a real regret of mine, not going back to school here in Canada, but I, I had to work, like I, I just had to. I, there was no way I could you know, go back to school like I could in England, because in England I had, I felt like I had good security, but you know, in Canada I had to stand on my own two feet. And yeah, and, and now I've, I finally found a job that I really, really, really wanted. And I, I've seen it advertised um, for quite a long time now, but I didn't go for it because I thought, you know, I, I can't do that, I'm not experienced enough. Yes, I'd love to do it, but there's no way that they'll hire me. And just before I went on vacation, I saw it still up there and I thought, well, you know what, by the time I come back from vacation, if it hasn't come down, then I'll apply. And me being me, <laughs> I still put it off because I didn't think I was going to be good enough. Um, but I finally applied and uh, through two interviews later, I've, I've got the job and I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, I can't wait to start. Um, so yeah, so things are things are happening for me and, and I think you'll find that if you do something like this and you've got um, you, you're thinking positive you things will you know, start to, to happen and I've started watching a lot more inspirational videos too um, you know a, a big inspiration of mine is Dan McDonald he uploads like videos every day I think he's got like way over a thousand videos now um, and it really is just him doing something quite like this, you know, he's talking about, um, you know, how, you know, things that he is doing to better himself, he will give recipes and, and tips and advice, and if anybody's emailed him with any issues, he will, ex you know, explain that, and um, I'm also watching videos by Leia um, Tarunin, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'll put details on my description, but, she is, um, she is like, she's a super, a super cool girl, and, you know, her videos, a lot of her videos are going over the same thing, but really, you know, you really need to keep hearing it, um, time and time again for it to, to really sink in, but, yeah, she's, um, she is more of a, a spiritual person, she is vegan and she is raw, but she talks more about, um, the spiritual side of things, and, and, you know, it's something that I've never really thought about before, but, um, yeah, I kind of just stumbled across her, so, you know, I've, I've started to listen to her, more of her videos, and, but yeah, definitely, if you're thinking about doing this, um, juice fasting, or juice feasting, um, definitely look into Dan McDonald and Joe Cross. If you can watch the movie Food Matters, that will really, really help as well, because, that will kind of give you a purpose. Um, and Sick, Fat and Nearly Dead is a good one. Um, but also, if you really want to get more into the in-depth, nitty-gritty, kind of not very nice stuff too, there's also a movie on YouTube called A River of Waste. And, oh, and also, um, Cook, Poison and Burn. Now that is a pretty powerful one. Um, but also food, like the creators of Food Matters also have a video about to come up um, at, the end of this uh, at the end of this month called Hunger, uh, Hungry for a Change. So if you, if you like um, Food Matters on Facebook, you'll see a link for um, Hungry for a Change. Um, sign up for it um, because they'll send you an email when they release the, like, the free movie. So yeah, so um, that's all I have to say really right now. Um, but yeah, I'm seven days in on my juice fast and I feel awesome. Um, I've lost seven pounds. I'm not quite sure where, but I started off as 100, at 134 pounds and now I'm 127 pounds. Um, but I spoke to my chiropractor about that because he's done like the, the 100 days and he said that you know, at this stage, um, you know, your, your intestines, there's a, lot, there's a lot of tox, you know, a lot of toxicity um, on there, and um, yeah, you'll start, you'll start releasing it. Um, but you know, like I say, 
one of the places I really notice in it is in my joints, especially my knees. But um, yeah, if this video is successful and I'm able to upload it because the other ones that I've tried I haven't been that successful with, I will um, do some more videos of the actual juicing itself with the recipes and anything else that I do um, regarding recipes or I don't know, this is, this is my video diary after all and just kind of, you know, my purpose for doing these YouTube videos is motivation for myself really um, and also trying to, you know, be an inspiration to other people too because um, I'm sure people, um, other people out there are thinking about doing this or they don't even know um, necessarily about this but they're wanting a change and this is a really good change so and if you don't have a juicer or can't afford a juicer then a blender um, as well you can do very very similar things with a blender you just have to remember to add water because you know all the fiber that's in the fruits and vegetables are obviously not being extracted so you know it will make it a lot thicker but yeah we'll um if you're friends with me on facebook um, I also have got a couple of smoothie recipes um, on my timeline too. Um, so yeah, keep checking out my videos and um, thanks very much for watching guys. Thanks. Bye bye.